Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So I just recently went to a Tesla takeover in San Luis Obispo and found this really interesting self-sustained electric solar power camper that can be towed with Tesla Model 3. And I got a chance to talk to a founder and a designer of this camper. It's called Polydrop. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I found another really cool camper for Tesla. Well, I guess it's for any car. It seems like they have a solar right there on the roof. And they have a Model 3 towing that camper. It seems really light. I'll take you to see a closer look at this camper. Let's go. So I found here K. Um, the founder of the Polydrops um, who designed this really cool camper. Alright Kay, um, can you tell me more about the design and functionality of this really cool design camper? So um, before we start, I have to start with the uh, whole story how we started this company. So uh, basically we start, um, uh, I mean it started as a student project back in 2017 while I was in the uh, architecture school. Um, and um, we actually designed the trailer. I mean, our goal was like designing something architecture thing. Um, and um, you know, I mean, student doesn't have the money. So what we've done is that we purchased the uh, hover flight trailer. We pretend that's the our like a land, and uh, we try to build something over it. That's how we started. And um, we were we the, our reference was the military vehicles like uh, spaceships, and also definitely teardrop trailers. And so we we're trying to like like designing a uh, trailer trailer to be more cool. Um, that was our start, and uh, we traveled for uh, from 2017 to 2019, and we figured out that the, uh, we definitely need more insulation because um, because that 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 represents the freedom while you're traveling around. I mean, you don't want to check the uh, like the temperature, you don't want to uh, care about the weather because that's total freedom. So we figured out, hey, we definitely need the insulation um, and all, all the electric system to cool down and uh, you know I mean heat it up um, while you're traveling, so that that will give you more freedom. So that's all how we ended up with this guy. I mean, we we started uh, as a business um, in the beginning of the 2019 because we met the investor at the moment. Um, and so that moment we shift our trailer, uh, the building of our trailer to the uh, like foam core. So this thing right here is made out of foam core. You can see the wall thickness that's actually filled up with the uh, foam. So this insulation. Mm. So the foam oven inside, right? Yeah, right. So this is basically a foam skin with the uh, really thin aluminum. So uh, this is a structure of foam, um, pretty strong. And um, also the good thing about this foam structure is that um, it eliminates like most of the uh, thermal bridges. Um, so most, most of the uh, like traditional teardrop builds, they are using the hollowed like, um, so what they're doing is that they just put the uh, plywood, they just hollowed it out and uh, they just insert the foam. But the problem is that uh, those like like skeletons are gonna be a uh, uh, thermal bridges. And uh, we actually eliminated everything. And um, yeah, that's our goal because um, we wanna go anywhere. I mean, I love to go out camping in the desert or like in the middle of like, like stormy, like s snowy weather. Um, yeah, that's how we ended up to doing this. And I'm also, um, the another goal while we were uh, running the company uh, was it happened in 2020 um, and I was I, I test drove the one Tesla and I figured out this is a really nice car I mean not only the look or the performance wise I mean all the thoughts behind of the car all, all the engineering stuff I was like blown away like holy shit this is a really great car I mean so I moved on and um, I really fall in love with the Tesla or or any electric vehicles. I still love gas power cars, but um, that's the future. So yeah, yeah. So we towed with the uh, Tesla, and we figured out that the aerodynamics of the uh, trailer is really important. That that's the uh, key point that when, when you're towing an electric vehicle with. So what? Uh, yeah. Which car did you test first? So the first one was the uh, Model 3 2018 okay. uh, single motor long range. Uh -huh. uh, I still have that one. Um, yeah, and um. The energy consumption was around like 380 while when you're like maintaining like 55 mile per hour. Um, I wasn't happy about that. What's, what's the weight on this? So weight of this, um, this thing is around like 14, 13 to 1400 pounds right now. Because uh -huh. I cannot give you the actual number because uh, we just finished our conversion. This thing used to be 1200 pounds, but uh, we put like more heavier, right. uh, heavier inverter and the heavier air conditioner inside. So 
Uh, that's why I'm just guessing about the weight, but um, definitely can tow by the Model 3 I have right here. So, uh, um, 1,300 yeah. pounds? Yeah, 13 to 1,400, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty light. And mm -hmm. can you tell me more about the, the functionality? Like, I saw a solar roof right there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah so this, this trailer equipped with the uh, three panels, each one are rated for like 130 watts. So um, total here is rated for 390 oh, watts. More right here. Yeah, and um, if customer wants, what we can do is that uh, we can remove the uh, skylight on the top, top front. Uh -huh. uh, so we're gonna have four panels, which we're gonna rate. Uh, you're gonna have the uh, 520 watts radio solar panel here, uh, which is really, really enough to power up the air conditioner heater. Um, yeah, with the, those four panels. I can see you, you have a, a, a full set of kitchen right here in the back. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, that's really. Really so cool. this this trailer comes with the six gallon the water tank right here. Uh -huh. uh, it's technically not a burner, but um, two induction stove right here. Um, extra um, you know table storage on the each side. It's pretty cool. So you get yeah. all the power from the solar. Oh yeah. So, so the solar panel we're gonna charge the battery underneath the bed, uh -huh. and the uh, uh, these guys we're gonna pull the power off from the battery. So yeah, so the energy you harvest from the solar will uh -huh. gonna be uh, that energy will gonna charge uh, you know power up all the electrons back here. So you must have the uh, a battery to to restore. The power, That's correct. Right? Yeah. So how big is uh, the battery? So this thing, uh, this trailer here has a 4.8 kilowatt hour of the battery, uh, has ability to have 9.6. Yep. Really cool. And this is a refrigerator. It's a mini fridge. Yeah, this is a mini fridge right here. Very really nice. Okay, let's have a look at the inside of this really cool camper. Ah, I'm sorry. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, so this is our new design. Um, uh -huh. We are just testing out the new design and new system here. So we convert our whole system from 12 volt to th uh, 48 volt. And you can see the inverter controller. Um, this one shows the uh, like status uh, state of the of the uh, whole system. So you can see that the solar panel is pulling 168 oh, it's, watts. It's actually operating right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a working cool. working working prototype right here. Uh -huh. um, so well, I mean, th technically, this is our my uh, test bed plus my um, you know prototype plus my personal trailer. So um, yeah, we travel with this trailer. We keep test out the whole system inside to make it official for our production model. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, it has the uh, air conditioner. That's the heater port right here. So that's AC and that's a heater. Yeah, that's the heater. Everything is electric, so oh, um, really cool. yeah, you don't need to worry that about like propane. Uh, yeah, this is for the vent. Okay. Uh, just the ventilation fan you can control from here. Uh -huh. um, so the vent fan, can, uh, the fan is out there underneath the trailer. So we're gonna suck the air. We're gonna bo uh, bring the uh, you yep, know, fresh air back there. And those are the storage speakers. and um, speakers, so you can you know yeah. enjoy your music. Uh, so it fits two people come to the room. Yeah. Now this is coffee table. Uh, we really love to you know travel with this table. Um, you know, we're gonna convert your trailer to a uh, really small, cozy uh, coffee shop here. Yeah. Yeah. I usually sit here. My wife goes over there. Uh, we have two po power outlet right there, so you can power up your laptop. Uh, you can also power up your like like capsule coffee machine um, while you're working inside. Uh, you, you, I don't know if you saw it, but um, uh, outside there's a Starlink uh, that's ours, and uh, so wherever you are, you can have the uh, really fast internet. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's how we, you know, enjoy enjoy our life. So the solar. <laughs> Solar panels should be enough mm -hmm. for like day to day, right? Let's say you take the power, mm -hmm. um, you know, eight hours during the day, mm -hmm. and you can, you, you have enough to use like during at night. Like let's say you yeah, use AC yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it really depends on where you are and um, um, you know, like how much date. sunlight you have, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, okay. um, but in in so Southern California, in uh, during the summer day. Um, with these these three panels, you can get around like two kilowatts hour of the bear, uh, the energy. Yeah. Um, that is pretty enough to you know uh, stay here, like powering up your laptop and like run the ventilation fan while you're sleeping. Yeah, really, so, really cool design. So, do you mm -hmm. have um, the price point for this? How oh yeah. So, be? so this trailer right here, um, this thing is around thirty grand. Um, well. It's really hard to give you an actual number because yeah. Um, yeah, there's some options that you want to choose. Right, uh, you like, want to add more than yeah. The so, price but change. I'll give you like like uh, like like 
uh, you ballpark. know, ballpark. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be like 30 grand for this trailer. But uh, uh -huh. we also do have base model, okay. uh, which we're gonna still have the same insulation, same shape, same aerodynamic features. Um, but it, it is more like 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 simplified trailer if you compare with this trailer. But that will gonna be 16 grand. Um, so you're gonna have a really nicely insulated trailer. 16? Yeah. So it start from 16. Yeah. So yeah. Wow, yeah, that's 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 pretty good price point actually. Yeah. If you compare with it's any. More attractive. Yeah, Definitely. most of the trailers, like teardrop trailers, start from the, those those price point. Um, so yeah. All right. Hey, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you, know, you so much. I saw a lot of people were interested over there. So yeah, thank you for your time, man. Thanks nice so to meet you, K. Thank you for your time, also. Right. Good luck today. Yeah. Thank you. It is really interesting camper in the. This is probably the first one I have seen so far that can be towed with a smaller vehicles like Tesla Model 3. Also, it's fully self-sustained with built-in battery and solar panels. I am super interested in this camper. Um, let me know what you think in the comment down below. I will also put the official website of this Pulley Drop camper in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Don't forget to click like if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe for the future contents. We'll see you on the next video.